Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up, y'all? Mr. His Hop here. Just wanted to jump on the channel real quick and say what's up. What's up to my people? It's been a minute since I've been on here. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick appearance. Everything with the ministry, man, just keep us up in prayer. His Hop Nation. Uh, we enjoy doing what we do. And, of course, you know, we do it for the kingdom, y'all. So, Y'all can definitely check us out on our website, hishopnation.com. And of course, download that app, His Hop Radio, in your app store. And I wanted to jump on here real quick because I have a, I wanted to react to this, this video and also the topic of secular music. Secular music, as we, you know, we, I'm not sure where that phrase came from, but us on the Christian side and the Christian community, that's what we refer to when we're talking about worldly music. You know, music that is played out on the mainstream uh, radio stations, uh, these mainstream outlets. We call it secular music. And the issue that I have with it is the content that you find in it. You find content in secular music, whether it's hip hop, uh, you find it in country, rock and roll. You find it in all genres where they are not glorifying God for one. And they're glorifying sex, drugs, things that cater to the flesh and cater to lust. And this secular music is trying to creep in to CHH Christian hip hop. You see secular Christian, well, secular artists trying to do gospel or Christian hip hop, right? And as an outlet, you know, our his hop radio station, our radio network, our podcast, our clubs, our venues, everything that we do, I, I want to let you know our stance. We do not rock with secular music. The Bible says, How can light and darkness dwell together? And I really like this video. My brother uh, Rashad, I believe, and his wife Carolina, you can check them out, their channel. Uh, but my brother, he's got a couple of shorts that he, he's talking about secular music. So let's tap in and see what he is saying, and then I'm going to respond to it right after this. As a Christian, you shouldn't be listening to artists that make music about sin. That music is not iconic, it's demonic. And I'm going to publicly say certain names because these same people are publicly leading a generation straight to hell. Tupac's music doesn't glorify God. Drake's music doesn't glorify God. Now let me stop right here. Now he's coming bold with it. He's coming straight out. He's saying that these artists are leading people straight to hell. If you do not believe that we are in a spiritual battle or a spiritual war, you need to wake up. The enemy is able to plant thoughts. That's how he communicates through your thoughts and making you think that they are your thoughts, making me think that these are my thoughts. These thoughts can be lustful. These thoughts are usually catering to the flesh. As a matter of fact, uh, Satanists and Satan worshipers, their commandments in their book is do what thou wilt in other words do your own thing do what you will do what you feel what feels good to your flesh the bible speaks against the lust of the eyes and the lust of the mind and the lust of the flesh as christians as born again believers we have the holy spirit and we have the power to subdue our flesh we can't do this on our own and that's the trick of religion religion gets you caught up on good works religion makes you think that you can pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and make yourself right with god but this is a complete lie now this brother he straights out he calls out these artists and i pray that these artists listen and they understand exactly what's going on because there's a lot of people that are blind there are a lot of people who are spiritually dead, spiritually discerned. They don't realize what's going on, that there's a spiritual war going on all around this earth. And they just think it's good music. They're having a good time. But then they get caught up in something they can't get out of. 
And then next thing you know, they're going down a path of death, hell, and destruction. And they don't even know what happened to it, to them. And this is a part of this. So let's get back to the video. Iggy's music doesn't glorify God. Jay-Z's music doesn't glorify God. Oh, some of y'all getting upset right now, but I got to tell you the truth. Beyonce's music doesn't glorify God. Now let's talk about Beyonce. Beyonce was just here in Vegas not too long ago. They call her the Queen Bee. They said that she has a hive. And a lot of Christians have boldly stepped up and they came out and they spoke against the spirit behind her. Now, Beyonce, I'm going to say that we love you as a Christian community. We love you with the love of God. We don't hate anybody. We don't hate the, the uh, LGBT, the gay community. We don't hate anyone because the blood of Jesus Christ can forgive us of any sin. But we have to repent and we have to turn from it. And Beyonce, I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict your heart. And that you will get right with Jesus Christ and all the people that you have influence over that you will lead them to the kingdom of God. That's our prayer and that's our stance. Now, as he's calling out these artists, I want to say as his nation, this is our opposition. His hop is a violent takeover. We're taking the genre. We're taking the music. We're taking the lyrics. We're taking it all back and we're giving it back to God, his hop. That's why in my songs, I say this don't belong to you. Who do you think I'm talking to? I'm talking to the world. I'm talking to Satan. I'm talking to our flesh. Everything that will lead us straight to hell. We are here to lift up and glorify the name of Jesus Christ. So my question is to all of the gospel radio stations, these gospel platforms, musical platforms, gospel artists, CHH in general, why are you allowing the secular world to come in? Why are you opening the door to the secular industry? Why? What is the purpose of it? You think you can go further if you sell out? Now, the kingdom of darkness is embedded in the music industry. We all know this. We know we all know that there's a lot of artists out there who will sell their souls. They'll do contracts with Satan in blood. Even um, Kanye West said that he had to sacrifice a family member. I believe he said it was his mother. You have to sacrifice, give blood for what? For fame and fortune. And you're selling out for something cheap. First of all, you can't sell your soul. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. And Jesus, his blood is strong enough to break any contract. So it's not too late. But you got to get off of the enemy's front lines. And we invite you to get on the front lines with Jesus Christ. If you believe and repent and turn. So let's get back to this video. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, Lil Nas, Sam Smith, Usher, Chris Brown, and many more. These brothers and sisters are gifted and I love them. And that's why today I'm declaring the truth of God. If it's not glorifying God, it's glorifying the devil. And some of y'all are gonna get mad. But when God gives my wife and I the opportunity to preach on this platform, we're not gonna preach things to make you feel good. We care too much about your soul to make you feel good straight to hell. Now, he said he's not going to preach things to make you feel good. Now, that's that's true preaching right there. The Bible says that the false teachers and the false prophets will be accepted by the world, will be spoke highly of by the world. But who do you want to impress? Do you want to impress God? Do you want God to speak highly of you or do you want man in this falling world, this fallen temporal world that is not going to last Jesus says what does it profit for a man to gain the world and to lose his soul what profit is there in that and he also said in his video that they're leading people straight to hell and he's speaking the truth and a lot of people are going to get mad a lot of people are going to get upset the Bible says that people will no longer endure sound doctrine no longer endure sound doctrine 
and we are living in those days right now and i want to give my brother encouragement man keep going keep preaching the truth keep preaching the word let's finish this video out as a christian you shouldn't be listening to artists that make music about sin that okay it's just uh starting over he said that he's going to use his platform to preach the truth and not make you feel good the the bible says that people will heap up teachers to itch their ears to itch their ears they want to hear what they want to hear they want you to say they they want people they want to hear us say that you're going to be blessed and and you're you're beautiful and you're you deserve your piece of the pie and all that well the bible says what you deserve is judgment what you deserve is hell there's no such thing as a good person read your bible read your word and that's the message that we're going we're trying to get out but the good news is that the price was paid jesus christ died on the cross it was a sacrificial death and that death was a sacrifice for you it was a substitute for you you deserve the death sentence you deserve the death penalty the, the bible says the wages of sin is death so the things that you're doing that are sinful and our hearts are so deceitful our hearts can love sin we are sinners we sin because we love to do it we enjoy it the bible even says that sin is fun for a season but who do you love most your sin or god and god will help change those desires god will touch you if you would only cry out and ask for help and if you're ready to switch sides then i'm gonna lead you into a prayer of repentance see it's one thing to tell people and point the direction but it's also another thing to walk that road with the person and show them how to do it and that's what i want to do i want to show you how to do it all you have to do is call upon the name of the lord and so repeat after me but make this prayer your own say heavenly father i agree with your word that i am a sinner and i've sinned against you and i've sinned against heaven i sinned against your will i've broken your laws and your commandments i am guilty father but father i acknowledge i've heard the word i've heard the word in this podcast in this short this video on social media i heard the word of god that you sent your only begotten son john 3 16 that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and this is the jesus of the bible and lord jesus i invite you into my heart into my mind into my emotions my will my thought life wash me by the blood of jesus and i surrender my life to you i turn from sin and i turn to you in jesus name amen well the bible says let me get a You see, you hear that rejoicing? The Bible says that the angels of heaven rejoice over one sinner who has repented. So if you prayed with me, get in touch with us on our website, hitshopnation.com. Download the app. Get into our community, our chat rooms, all that stuff, man. We got some great stuff in store for you. We got some shows. Uh, I'm revamping my podcast. So we got some more podcasts some more videos like this reaction videos we're just gonna come in with some hard-hitting stuff uh shows and events in vegas that we're planning for if you want to get booked if you want to come out to our events all our information is on our website hishopnation.com we appreciate y'all and i'm gonna close out like i always do it's not about us it's about the crisis in us y'all God bless. You are listening to the light of Las Vegas. This is the His Hop Radio Show.